Good morning, everybody out there. It is Friday, March 27th, 2020, and it is a great day to be a junior potter. Let's get right down to it on a Friday here. Up top, our general announcements. Remember, make sure you're filling out that attendance form every single day by 11 a.m. Also today on Friday, just like we did on, I believe it was Tuesday, we sent this out. Uh, but parents will be contacted again if you are missing any work, so make sure that you are getting your stuff done for each class. Check Power School. Look for that little missing indicator or even the late indicator in some cases we're putting on there. Make sure that you're keeping up with your classes every single day because it could be in a couple of days where grades will start to count more for real um, going on with things there. Uh, and you'll see those grades start actually counting um, so make sure that you are keeping up with the daily assignments being posted there. A lot of you are doing your job and are doing great with it. There's a couple of you, maybe not so much there. So make sure that you're keeping up with all the work there. What we're going to be looking at today is GMOs, which stand for Genetically Modified Organisms. And for a lot of these things, it is our daily products that you're using right now, like possibly the clothing that you're wearing comes from some kind of genetically modified cotton or genetically modified source that way. The corn that you might have been eating the last couple of days or the uh, potatoes that you eat or if you're more in the fruit line of things, if you've had a banana probably ever, those things are genetically modified nowadays for one way or another. And what that means is that we have taken the DNA of those organisms, and we have gone into the DNA, you know, little double twisty ladders there, and we have taken a chunk of their DNA out, and we have inserted our own trait that we wanted that organism to have. We placed it into the DNA and then grew that organism now in a lab, made the seeds for it, and now that organism has that trait that we want inside of them, which we, we've been doing this now for, you know, years upon years upon years with lots of different things. Um, so a lot of your things, like we looked at with the Pear Deck the other day, a lot of our common products now have some of those genetically modified parts to them. What you're going to take a look at today is a couple of those specific instances to see how we have actually tampered with the DNA and what traits we have added in to some of those organisms to make them, you know, basically our own unique creation. Something that would never exist in nature, which is part two of our artificial selection. Part one was that selective breeding, which from looking at a lot of your responses, you're getting the hang of selective breeding. We just breed the trait that we want to have. So if we wanted little chihuahua dogs, we just kept on taking the smallest dogs. and We kept breeding them together so that the dogs would be smaller and smaller and smaller. We wanted cows that are beefier so that we'd have more beef. We'd breed the beefiest cows together until we got the beefiest cow. That was selective breeding. With genetically modified organisms today, we are taking the actual DNA and we are taking out a chunk of that DNA and inserting our own chunk that we want them to have. We have figured out what parts of the DNA code for what trait, and we are now using that to our fullest potential to create these things that never would have existed in nature there. So let's check out your activity today that you're going to be doing involving our genetically modified organisms, and you'll see what kind of things that we are going to be looking at specifically here. So we'll have our classroom post that has all the schedules, very similar to the things that are over here to the side. When you click on today's assignment and bring up today's assignment, it'll look very similar to some of the assignments that we've had going on here. So today's stuff you'll be filling in in the blue highlighted sections. There will be these little station cards, and we're going to dig into that momentarily here. You'll find the link to the station cards very similar to how the last two days have gone with the selective breeding stuff. There's a link to it in the instructions here. It is also attached to the assignment post as well. So which either way you found the information last time, it's in a similar space here today. So let's go ahead and 
bring these up and just like the other day just a complete thought will be more than enough for these you do not have to do complete sentences a lot of you had excellent things um the other day just make sure i would say that you're fully explaining it when it says to you know give me a certain number of things or explain something or give the reason why that you're actually doing all of the parts that's the only thing that i could see is that some people were skipping over the explain or the why parts from um, the selected breeding stations make sure that you're looking through everything there but let's open up the station cards because it's going to be a little bit different because there's a lot more going on with this one so i'm going to run down today you're only going to be doing let me blow this up a little bit Pachow. And actually, let me go to my camera here. Sorry for the pause there. I was trying to find the right one there to get to. What you're going to have is that we had we had six different issues, we're calling them. These are our problems. You're only going to be doing issue one and number two. Uh, in a little preview, you're going to be doing three and four on Monday. We are not going to be doing five and six. So if you want to know more about potatoes and corn... You can read a little bit more about potatoes and corn there just because of what we do. Maybe we'll use we'll use one of those as an example here. Uh, but you're going to do number one and number two today for Friday, and then you're going to do three and four for Monday. There'll be a new document that comes out for that, so don't worry about that part yet. But you're going to start by reading the issue. And the questions go in the order of when it tells you to look at that section of cards, you'll look at it. So like the first two sections, you're looking at what is the issues with apples and why it's a problem. So you'll read about the apples and why it's a problem of what happens to normal apples when they just grow on the tree that have not been genetically modified. You're then going to go down to the solutions. And these solutions are not in order. You have to figure out which one is the correct one to pair up with apples. So you'll read through these solutions and... Find out which one of these solutions would fix the problem happening with the apples. So there's A, B, C, D, E, and F. So you'll look for which one there. There's going to be a couple of questions of how to do that. One, which letter would solve this problem? So you just have to tell me A, B, C, D, E, or F. And then how do they solve this problem according to the card? So you just have to tell me how they solved the problem that was going on with the apples. You're then going to read the results of this actually happening because these were issues and we have solved these issues through genetically modification um, or through genetic modification. So you're going to have to look through the results and see which results would apply to the apples. And you'll have to answer how we actually fix the apples then, which some of these things sound kind of weird. So let's run down an example here. Let's look at issue number five with potatoes. Potatoes can be bruised by the impact and pressure during harvest and storage. The results is black spots on the potato. Ugh, we don't want that. Consumers will not purchase discolored potatoes, and potatoes with these black spots are thrown away. This results in food waste. We don't want to be wasting food. That's a big thing right now since, you know, we're in quarantine and everything. We have the do not leave the house kind of stuff going on there. We don't want to be wasting food. If people think they're going bad quicker than they really are, that's not good for maintaining good product there. So the problem, obviously, with these potatoes is the black spots and people are throwing them away, which lead to food waste. So we've identified our problem with our potato. Let's see if we can find a solution to the potatoes here going on. So the solution for this one is actually solution F, they have taken a wild plant species that spliced out the bruising capabilities of the potatoes, and the bruising can be reduced to up to 40%. That sounds like that would be a pretty good solution for our bruising situation with our potatoes. Um because they're being bruised by the impact and pressure during the harvest. So solution F would be our problem there, and they found this gene in a wild species of plant where it can reduce the bruising. So they've taken the DNA now of the wild plant, they're going to mix it with the potato, and then we get our results of our innate potatoes reduce black spots from bruising, 
where previously tons of potatoes never made it to the market, costing millions of dollars, so waste of money, bad for our stuff here. They realized that they could make this production of it, which makes it so that not only the potatoes are getting less bruised, but in this last little line here, let me see if I can kind of blow it up just a little bit here. This new potato also reduces the risk of getting cancer because of giving you another amino acid, a little protein part that actually helps you in the long run. So that would be kind of a benefit of some of this GMO stuff happening in there um, with just that, that one case of the potato. So that's basically a rundown of how you'll do today's activity. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. This is Friday's assignment. And as always with Friday, I hope you enjoy your weekend after you finish your assignment. This is due. I know it says it'll be due tomorrow at 9 a.m., but remember, this is on a Friday, so it's actually going to be due not tomorrow, but we're going to make that due on Monday at 9 a.m., just like it would be for class. So, whoop is due on Monday, 9 a.m. Make sure that you get it. Most of you will probably get it done on Friday, which you might as well enjoy your weekend. And remember, it is a great day to be a junior potter.